Hi everyone and welcome to Imperial Wealth. In this video we're going to be having a look at how you can potentially qualify for the confirmed upcoming airdrop of the SUI token. Now the great thing about farming this potential airdrop as opposed to some of the others that we've looked at is because SUI is still in its testnet and devnet phase it will not cost you any of your own funds to do all the activities that will potentially qualify you to receive the airdrop. Instead, you can just install their wallet and receive some testnet tokens for doing nothing. If you want to see how to do that, stick around and we're going to look at that right now. SUI is a layer one blockchain developed by Mistern Labs, which has raised around $300 million in funding from investors like Binance Labs, Coinbase Ventures, and 16Z Crypto. The guide that I will be following today and showing you the steps on is on airdrops.io. It's quite simple and easy to follow, and I'll leave a link to this guide in the description of this video. Now, before we get started, you need to know that this guide is theoretical, there is no guaranteed way that you can qualify. The only way that you can really know how to qualify for airdrops is retroactively. So the best that we can do is do as many of the options that have qualified users for previous airdrops on different blockchains and different layer one solutions and do as many of them as we can on this current one. And then cross our fingers and hope that when it comes time for them to release their token, which they have confirmed, which is good. Some of the other token airdrop farming that we've done is just on rumors of a token. This is actually confirmed from the team. So all we can really do is as much as possible, depending on how much time and effort you want to put in to see whether you can qualify for this airdrop. So I've already been uh, mucking around with the testnet and the devnet on a different browser. So I'm going to show you the easy steps that you can do it on the Chrome browser, but this also works for Firefox and I've done it on the Brave browser as well. So first of all, we have to download the SUI wallet. I've tested all these links and they're all working. So we can just uh, right click on that and it will take us to the Chrome extensions. Now you get this rather ominous message with all hot wallets in crypto. It says it can read and change all your data on all websites. This does sound a bit strange, but that's the warning you get when you install MetaMask, when you install TronLink, um, the Binance uh, wallet. It's just a, a standard thing that it gives for all these wallets because they're actually interacting with blockchain networks via websites. So we can trust that because this is from the official uh, SUI team uh, that we can add this extension. It says here, welcome to the SUI wallet. And what we're going to do is create our wallet now inside of this extension. We're going to click get started and create a new wallet. You're going to pop in your own password. Make sure you keep a record of this. Tick that you've read the terms and conditions. And if you want to go through all of that, you can see them here. And we're going to create the wallet. This is not such an important step with the testnet and devnet, but this will be very important once you're using the live network, once it goes live and you have actual tokens that are worth actual money in there. So uh, this is going to give you a recovery phrase. You should be writing this down in a notebook potentially printing it out and putting it in two different locations. Do not keep this in a text document on your computer. Don't screenshot it and keep it on your desktop. If somebody gets access to your computer, they can have access to all the funds that are in this wallet with this simple 12 letter phrase. I have written mine down. I've ticked. Yes, I've saved my recovery phrase. Now I'm going to open the wallet. So now this is installed, you can access the wallet. It's normally up here on this list of extensions. If you can't see it up there, you can access while you're using any website. Um, just click this in Chrome, you just click this little puzzle piece, which is the extensions and you just uh, make sure. So I'm just going to unpin some of these ones that I am not really using at the moment. And let's find the SUI wallet and pin that to the extensions this little uh, water droplet here, click on that. And then this is your wallet. Now what we want to do here is switch to the DevNet, which is the next item on the list. We can do that by hitting these three lines right here. And it's automatically on the SUI testnet. We want to uh, click on that under network and switch to the DevNet. Then we can go back. 
Now what we want to do from this screen before we close it is request some DevNet SUI tokens. Now I've just run into a little snag here because when I have requested the DevNet tokens, it says that I have requested too many tokens from the faucet on this uh, client, which is this computer, this IP address or whatever. So I'm going to finish the rest of this over on my Brave browser because this is the step that I got up to on one of my other wallets that I'm farming. So all I've done is I've hit that request DevNet tokens and I've done it multiple times because I needed at least two or three of the tokens to do the next step. Then what you want to do once you have received some of these DevNet tokens is go to the stake here. So it says I've got currently one staked, but if you have none staked, it'll say uh, SUI staking or something like that. Click there, then hit stake SUI. Uh, select a validator, doesn't really matter which one you select. Then you go to select an amount and it's a minimum of one that you can stake. So I've just staked one of my tokens. So that will satisfy. Um, so we've, we've gotten through pretty quickly to step number six, uh, which is to uh, stake and earn the SUI. So I've staked one of my tokens. Another thing with these types of airdrops that has happened in the past is they've rewarded users who have used some of these things on a regular basis. So I'll probably come back every couple of days and see if I can request some more tokens uh, from the faucet and stake a few more and uh, you know on a regular basis that will increase my odds of getting these. Now item num so that satisfies uh, item number six stake and earn SUI. It also suggests trying to send some SUI uh, from one address to another. So because I've got one wallet on my Brave browser and I've also got a wallet now on my Chrome browser I can send some SUI from one to the other. Let's grab this address by just clicking on it and that will copy the address. So I'm really liking this wallet, by the way. It's working very well so far. It's nicely designed. Reminds me a lot of MetaMask. Then I'm gonna go into the wallet that actually has some tokens and I'm going to send some from this. I'm going to send, uh, let's send 1.2 tokens from this address. And we have to enter the address there. I'm gonna enter that and then hit send. It will then require me to hit send now. And let's see how fast this blockchain is. Let's see if the tokens are already at the other address. Yep, there we are, bang, it took less than a few seconds. Those kinds of speeds are quite common with some of the new layer one uh, blockchains. This one will be uh, particularly fast because we're on the DevNet and the testnet still, which means there's not that many people transacting on a daily basis. So let's actually then stake some of that SUI on this wallet as well. I'm gonna select validator number one, select an amount, I'm gonna stake one, stake now, and then now we have done staking on my second wallet here. Now step number eight is it says, make sure you interact with some of the decentralized apps built on the SUI network, like the name service and SUI swap. Let's open both of those, and there's a complete list from this link right here. So here's the SUI name service. What SUI name do you want to register? Let's see if we can register my name. My full name is Nathaniel. There we go. Nathaniel.sui is available. Let's select that and register. It will ask us to OK that from the wallet and we're going to hit connect. Well, I'm getting an RPC error at the moment, so that one's obviously not going to work. Let's move on to the next one. SUI swap which is sounds a lot like sushi swap but this will be the decentralized uh, exchange and we'll select sui wallet which is what we've got we're going to have to do the same connect to that i'm not having much luck with either the name service or the sui swap at the moment but i'm assuming that because this is still under development uh, there will be some bugs and i might have to come back uh, and try this on a different day but what I'm assuming that you do here is there's a pool, stable pool, token and transaction. What you would be doing is minting some of these tokens on the test net um, and then you will be able to then swap one token for another using this SUI token uh, balance here as uh, your gas. So the fees will be paid in the SUI token, just like if you were using SushiSwap or uh, Uniswap on the Ethereum network you'd be paying in the Ether token when you're swapping uh, you know, tokens that are on that blockchain network 
one for another. So you can uh, use this link here, this one right here on the word here to see the full list of uh, the developing dApps and projects on the SUI ecosystem. I'm not going to go into any of these now, but I suggest while you're farming this airdrop, when you have the time, go in and check out a bunch of these projects, see what they're all about. They will tell you on their websites and see whether you can start interacting with them on the test net or the dev net. So the final two points are quite salient here. It says that the SUI team have already confirmed the launch of their own token with the ticker SUI to reward the early users. It is very likely that the DevNet or TestNet users will become eligible for an airdrop when the token is launched. And then this is also important. Please note there is no guarantee that they will do an airdrop to early users. It's only speculation which is the caveat that we have to apply to all airdrop farming. But if you look at past airdrops, you could have spent a couple of hours of time over a few weeks doing some easy little tasks like this, and people have received life-changing amounts of money, anywhere from a thousand up to tens of thousands of dollars in these airdrops. I suggest because this one is free, create a couple of wallets, at least two or three, request those SUI funds from the faucet and go through all these steps on each of those wallets. That means when it comes time for the airdrop, if you did all the things that it's required, you will get two or three times the amount of reward. I was lucky enough to get the Uniswap airdrop a few years ago on four of the wallets that I was using on the Ethereum network. So it does pay to spend a bit of time on these. They can really give you some asymmetrical rewards for the amount of time that went in. And if for some reason on some of these, you did all the steps and you still didn't get the token, all you've lost is a little bit of time. It's not a big deal. So we hope you found this content valuable. If you did, make sure you do subscribe to our channel for all the latest in cryptocurrency news and education. Make sure you like this video and leave a comment. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.